Warning, a sense of humor is required for watching this video. If you are easily offended, go watch something else. What's up guys, it's John, and today I'm sitting right next to this D-bag right here. <laughs> this is one of my best friends, his name's Don. Say hello. Hi, I'm Don. That's it? That's it, and I'm <laughs> friends with him. <laughs> So anyway, we, we had a discussion earlier and I wanted to kind of go on a little bit of a rant. I don't do this very often, but whatever. You know, as a gun enthusiast, Donnie is a new gun enthusiast. He's, He's learning. Gun enthusiast. I'm, yeah. I'm gun curious. <laughs> gun curious. Is that like bi-curious? Well, it's just like bi-curious, but with guns. And not dicks. And guys sometimes, but no homo. <laughs> so anyway, we've been watching a lot of gun shows lately, and I've noticed something that's really, really disappointing, specifically on the Discovery Channel. Now, when it comes to guns, there's three main networks that play gun shows. Uh, History Channel, Discovery, and... Uh, Outdoor Network. Outdoor Network. So, with those three networks, you have to say, okay, those guys are representing gun owners and gun safety specifically, to a large, large audience, even bigger than YouTube could ever be. And the thing that kind of disappoints me is, at least on two specific Discovery Channel shows, uh, American Guns and Sons of Guns, they constantly <coughs> put cameramen in front of muzzles. When you're taught gun safety, you're taught never to put something in front of the muzzle that you're not willing to destroy, and always treat a gun as if it were loaded. I'm not gonna point this at his head, even though it's locked back, because that's not what you do. You don't treat guns like that. And I feel that as representatives of the gun community and gun owners and things like that, those shows need to represent gun safety in, a, in an even bigger way. You look at another show on Discovery Channel, Mythbusters, and whenever they do anything remotely gun or explosive related, it's, you know, safety out the wazoo. Yeah, and they're behind the blast behind shield, blast they're wearing uh, bulletproof vests when they mess with guns, and even if it's not required, that's how they play the game. Yeah, yeah, and, and even in times when they wouldn't necessarily have to, but just to be on the safe side, they'll remotely fire guns and not even have anybody touching the gun. And then you've got shows like American Guns, The Sons of Guns, they're like, all we need to have in a show is guns and explosions and a chick with big boobs. Exactly and we're gonna have a success. And honestly, it's kind of true. But the main thing, as far as safety goes, that drives me nuts is when they put cameramen downrange. This might not drive everybody nuts because they do claim that the weapons are unloaded, condition three or whatever you want to call it, they claim that that's okay. In my perspective, as a huge representative, you can't do that. No, it's just not okay. It's not proper gun safety, period. We on, uh, on YouTube, some people can get plastered for, for not treating the gun the way they should. You've got people shooting themselves in the leg. You've got, uh, uh, you know, training places putting cameramen down range and just getting chastised for it. And then you flip on national TV and they do the exact same thing yeah. and pretend like it's acceptable. Right, right. I, I don't care. I, I can tell you almost every episode of Sons of Guns they get this corny shot where they've got, you know, a guy or a couple guys in a line. Yeah. And they, you know, walk with the camera down the line. Right. <laughs> One, the shot looks like crap because the production crews tend to suck. I mean, give me that kind of money. Watch the TV show we can put together. Right. Blows that crap out of the water. Not even a comparison. Just terrible TV. Terrible TV. And, I mean, you, you get that crappy shot and you put a cameraman in danger as far as gun safety goes. Now, you flip on other networks. Just just for instance, last night there was a program on Outdoor Network that was uh, all about you know different ammunition and their role in personal protection. And the guy that uh, presented the program, the camera's on him and the range is down this way and every time you see him with a gun in his hand, it's always off to the side, pointing down range and his, finger is nowhere near the trigger. Whatever, it's pointed away and it's not loaded, but he's treating it as if it were loaded. And on top of that, that's just a level of professionalism that uh, Rich Wyatt and Will Hayden have basically let us down on. You figure as, as gun shop owners, 
those two guys would be sticklers for that. They yeah. would say, okay, I've got to represent myself really <laughs> well to not just gun owners, but future gun owners, possible gun owners. Right. And they do a horrible job of it. Honestly, they both look like assholes. Yeah. They really do. And that's yeah. unfortunate because I wanted to like both of those shows. I went into those shows saying, okay, these are going to be great. Some gun shows on, on major television networks. I love the Discovery Channel. I right. love Mythbusters. I love all the educational right. TV. Right. I know it's you do great. too. It's great. And, and then you put these goons up there and you let producers tell them what to say, what to ask for these quote-unquote custom guns that they're making. Right. right. And it, it just... It's terrible. Right. That's, I mean, that's my biggest pet peeve with them is, is the, the scripted BS, the bullshit. It could be a show just about a gun shop that makes guns and customizes them. It could be that. That's interesting enough to me as somebody that wants to learn about guns. Right. But no, we have to intertwine this love story between the big boob chick and the, the young uh, upstart uh, gunsmith and it's frowned upon of Will and he's made to make a decision either her or your career it's like come on man and on top really? of that that guy uh, his name's Chris I think yeah 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 that guy gets pushed by the producers nonstop, and you can see it the laughing the oh this is oh this is so cool man that's, right, that's how right. he is and it's, it's so bad it's so fake oh it's the so terrible the excitement and everything it just every they do that crap on sons of uh no not sons of guns american, american guns yeah like woo, yeah we just blew stuff up and it's a completely remote detonation like they had that uh punt gun which is a huge shotgun it's uh you know for those of you that don't know it's something they used to hunt with when you could go out and kill, you know, 60 birds with one shot of a gun. They, they made one for a guy. First of all, they charged him like 10 grand for a drain pipe with paint on it and a horrible stock and, and some awful aircraft site that didn't make any sense. And, and then they put their logo on it like, this guy big. big. Huge. Huge. Gun smoke. Gun okay, smoke. if I'm paying you $10,000 for something, your logo better be this big. Right, right. And then, and then they, they're like, all right, we brought in an aircraft. We're going to shoot it down. So they fly in this remote-controlled air, aircraft, and they just blow it up. And then the guy's like, woo! Like, dude, really? <laughs> really? You can't even shoot the thing out of the sky? They didn't show the shot hitting it. They just show it blown show it up. Blown up yeah. That's so lame. Like, I make it a point that if I'm going to try and blow something up, you can either see the shot or tell, like with a shot over my shoulder, that I'm actually doing it. Right. It's I, just disrespectful to the, the viewer. It's and obvious. Point, here, but... Here's an example for what uh, the, the, the converse to that. Top shot. When they do uh, the exploding targets, I wish I knew how they did those. They're so cool. When they do that, you can see the bullet entering. Yeah, they, they overlap the shots, and some of them are, are kind of corny, but whatever. They still show guys interacting with the exploding target. They don't fake it. Yeah. And that's what makes Top Shot a better show, in my opinion, than those two other pieces of garbage on the Discovery Channel. Right. It's not even about the guns, really. The shows really aren't about the guns. The shows are about... The scripted nonsense. I mean, they're almost like soap operas with guns. Yeah, and that's terrible. Right. Soap operas are terrible. They're terrible, terrible things that need you to know, be away. <laughs> Just because you add guns, it doesn't make it cool. One of the other points that kind of bugs me about these so-called reality TV gun shows is the fact that it appears that all they do is go out into some various area, send about 10 rounds downrange, and walk away. Like... That's how shooting is. I think it misleads the bulk of the people that watch that show. Like, when you go to the range, how many rounds do you normally put down range? At least 100. Okay, he puts about 100 rounds. I'm two to 300, maybe more, depending on what guns I have. What he shoots as a new shooter with one gun, this XD, he puts 10 times the amount of rounds down range than this so-called, you know, family and, and, and friends and they... It's just ridiculous. It's like you lead people to believe that what you do as a gun enthusiast is go out, set up some targets, shoot them, and then leave. Yeah. It's like, yeah. what the hell? Yeah. I saw an episode of American Guns where they had some 
like family shootout at the end of the episode to for some, I, I don't know bragging rights or whatever for yeah. whatever reason some they did stupid crap they came up with and they had these targets set up and you know they all had their go at it and then that was it no I mean if if I'm at a range and there's stuff to set up and shoot um, you're gonna be there most of the day yeah yeah shooting paper is way less entertaining than shooting cans and other objects they shot. They shot the dragon's breath out of a 410. Out of, I think it was a, a Taurus judge they were shooting. They shot dragon's breath out of this thing, and, and they're shooting at an ice blotch, first of all, which is hilarious. Second of all, why? Why on earth, if you can afford to, to be on TV, make these insane guns, why would you not send, like, 100 rounds of dragon's breath downrange? Why would you walk up, spend all this time setting up all these fancy ice blocks, and then go, pew, I'm done? No, I call bullshit. I call shenanigans on that. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Shenanigans on American Guns and Sons of Guns for being lame and putting no rounds down range. I declare shenanigans on you. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention. Okay. I think it's hilarious how Will Hayden, he, he loves to, I know the producers do this, he loves to make statements like, oh, we're opening up a whole new market. And like, oh, I'm going to make a thousand yard AK. Then he takes it into his range, which is, at 10 yards at the most, maybe, okay, let's let's be generous and say 25. Right. A thousand yard AK, let's test it at 25 yards. 25 yards. And then he never, they never showed him taking it out to a thousand in the episode. No. That is disgraceful. No. In, 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 every, every single episode, they're getting into a new market. Every episode. Oh, this is going to be the greatest thing ever. Let's bring the general out and he's not going to buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've seen, you know, they... They'll, they'll demonstrate their awesome thing for the customer and they'll go they'll say something to the effect of yeah I can see I can see putting in an order for you know well five or six of these I can see putting in an order yeah not not I'm not, putting in an order <laughs> not I have a check and I'm ready to sign it and here it is for now, my now order. don't get me wrong they have made some really really cool stuff they have both shows have made some cool stuff they have they've made uh, some cool stuff I I like the stuff on Sons of Guns a little bit more. Because it's a little bit more like that uh, spinning Sega 12 thing yeah. they did. That was that was awesome. Yeah. And the the yeah. the try AR thing also right. very cool. Also bad. Also. Bad. But you you gotta kind of question the the quality of some of the work at Sons of or uh, American Guns. I'm sorry, Gunsmoke. I watched a couple episodes where like you could see the welds and you could see the soldering. And honestly, if I paid them. Like uh, the axe mortar gun, they soldered this like brass cup onto the end, and when they handed it off to the customer, you can see in the shot that you can see the guy solder. Okay, let me put it to you this way: if you spend eight thousand dollars on a custom gun, and you can see the solder marks, throw it back at the owner because they don't deserve your money. Right. I mean, you watch any other program where a craftsman welds or or seam something together like that and they grind away the weld look at uh, american to... restoration as a prime example of quality work right they they take the extra time and they they clean it up and they show you that they clean it up they show you that they make it real nice for their customers yeah and their customers are always very happy yeah. and i honestly think that's one of the least scripted shows i mean yeah there's some corny stuff on there and they kind of have to push them yeah but the work stands for itself, and I don't see why you couldn't make a gun show do that. Right. I just, I don't know. I mean, who's your, who's your target market? Your target market is gun enthusiasts. But is it? Apparently not, because with back stories and all that other bullshit, it's almost like they're trying to entice people into the gun culture. They don't give a shit about the gun culture. You know what, I think they're, they're <coughs> the producers are just going, okay, how can I take advantage of X market? Right. We don't have a show right. for we don't have a this show market. For... We need a show to represent the need... the middle class working man. Yes, we need Low middle redneck class shows. We yeah. need redneck shows that aren't on the country music network. Right. That aren't on CMT. And or that don't involve uh, Ron White and... Larry, Larry the Cable, cable guy, guy and Jeff Foxworthy. Yeah. How do you know if you're a redneck when your gun rack, rack has, has a gun, gun rack, rack on it? Yes. <laughs> a lot of people will, will probably comment and say, well, that's just reality TV. Yes. Well, I'm sorry. If that's how it's going to be, 
then I don't want to watch it. I would much rather flip on Top Shot or uh, Top Gun's little spin-off they did at Top Shot or uh, anything on the Outdoor Channel. Yeah, because they're more or less strictly... They don't the lie meat, to you! The they the don't potatoes. lie to you! And that's... Yes. People, people out there hate being lied to, but they don't always know when they're being lied to. Yeah. American Guns and Sons of Guns are lying to you. <laughs> they, they are, are liars! They you are a liar and a thief! <laughs> yes. Yes. You can't take away what the stuff, what it, what they create, because it's bad. Yes. They yeah, have some bad they have some stuff. Cool stuff on there. But as far as gun information goes, it's limited. You watch a show like Top Shot and Top Guns. Top, and Top, Top Shot. Guns, yeah. Top Guns is great. Breaks, you know, breaks things. That's down. on uh, H2, the Second History Channel. Right. Right. And the shows on the outdoor where I, I watched the, the one about ballistics and, and that was just extremely informative for me being new to the shooting world. Um, it shed a lot of light on what different ammo in different calibers is capable of and it answered questions that I didn't even know I had at the time. Exactly. And then they, they get, the mom on that show will will get on there and like they were demoing a shotgun and some other guns for a NASCAR driver's wife or girlfriend or whatever she was, I forget. And and they're like, she's like, I want to try this shotgun. And the wife, they cut to the wife, that would be so bad. No, it'd be stupid because she's going to hurt her shoulder. <laughs> right. Like, stop right. kidding people. Right. What are you doing? I don't even think that she had much involvement in guns until the show got put on because I, I... Which, who are you talking about? The, the... Very lovely daughter. American Guns. Okay. Um, just from <laughs> the, the episodes of that that I've seen where they show her shooting, I see shakiness in the hands. I see uneasy. You see inexperience. I see inexperience because I'm still working through that myself. Uh, game being, recognizes game. That's it. So I can say... That's it. That's it. That's what's conveyed to me. So I don't... I think her involvement in guns in that show is is a fraud. And it's so and funny how... Yet again, yet shenanigans. Again, shenanigans. It's also hilarious how all of the gunsmiths that live in the basement of that place... <laughs> <laughs> how they have bunk beds. <laughs> the big fat guy is so awful. Oh, oh, hold on. Those guys just like drool over her when she comes in. Oh. She's like, oh hey, these are my boobs. Right. Look, look, all of you gunsmiths that can't right. touch me because I'm the boss's daughter. Exactly. You tell the one to bang me, but you can't. But you can't. You can't do and it. And you never will. Even and the fat guy. Can. Okay. The fat gunsmith on American Guns. Terrible. Is, <laughs> he's Cartman in real life. <laughs> yes. You guys, I'm going to do this for you. Like it in that. Screw you guys. I'm getting him. He put me in charge of this project. <laughs> you, you guys. Give me a milkshake. <laughs> Like, I'm a fat dude, but holy crap! He's just an awful fat guy. Every He's just so angry and fat. <laughs> so angry and fat all the time. <laughs> Donnie just mentioned the, the reality TV aspect of the show Top Shot on History Channel. It's a competition, and they all have to live in this house. Um, it's like the real world like the with real guns. Like with guns, right. Except, uh, see, you can't know. That's not a good comparison. Why? Because, because the real world... Is not in There's fact not a the guy with AIDS. World. There's no guy with AIDS. Right. There's no guy with AIDS, and the people on Top Shot aren't just fucking and getting drunk all the time. <laughs> Are you they, sure? You know, <laughs> it might be off camera. Yeah. But they they still tie this reality TV show aspect into it, where they have to go back to. The I house think a and better comparison together. is like kind of Survivor, but like with a house. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Survivor is is a better comparison to that. Yeah. Uh, they have to live together and compete against each other uh, yeah. and work together because initially you're on teams and then as you get down to a certain point where there's not enough people to have what a would team, you, What would we call our team? Themselves. Our duo? Can we call our team Car Ramrod? I think we have to now. <laughs> <laughs> How about I punch inside your face for, for free? free. Alright guys, so we ranted plenty. We, we talked about pretty much everything I could think of, he could think of. Yeah. If you've got something you want to add or you want to tell me I'm an idiot, leave that down below in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give the old thumbs up. Thumbs up. Love it. And, uh, <laughs> love it. Love Hated it. it. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you enjoyed it, you know, all that good stuff. And don't forget to subscribe. There's always new cool gun stuff coming up. 
Uh, I've got some machine gun stuff coming up. I've got the shoot in West Virginia. We which... have other ridiculous stuff coming up. Once oh yeah. We have Shh, no. No, no, no. It, it's just ridiculous. That's all I'm gonna say. It's and uh, this times ten, or fifty, or five thousand. Team. Eleven. Team. Did I catch a niner in there? <laughs> I was. Are you calling from a walkie-talkie? I was calling. From all right, guys. Car ramrod. See you later.